You know, you are very composed for a man that's on trial for murder. I have an excellent attorney. Yes, and I also used to be your wife, so I know you. You got something up your sleeve. I swear you try anything funny, I will walk. Hmm. I'm duly warned. I see you're back to your old self. No, not all the way back. Not without Stuart. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Nelson T. Whitman presiding. I would really like to know what you think you're doing. I'm just sticking around until the court adjourns to keep an eye on you. You don't mind, do you? You really think I would try to escape now? After all the times I've tried and failed? You can't con a con man, Annie. And just so you know, Opal has Emma someplace very safe and very private. Your level of trust is gratifying. Shh. Showtime. Uh, the defense calls as its first witness, Scott Chandler. And what was the defendant's mental state when he realized what he had done? He was devastated when he remembered that he had fired the gun that killed my father. He ran to his brother's grave with a gun intending to kill himself. Then why didn't he? I was able, a few of us were able to stop him. He wanted to confess after that, turn himself in. And in the end, that's what he did. <clears throat> so how would you characterize your father's relationship with Adam? My father loved my uncle and the feeling was mutual. I have one last question. How do you feel about Adam? I love him. How is that possible? He killed your father. Because he wasn't in his right mind that night. And I forgive him with all my heart for what he did. I feel like we all need to forgive him. I have no further questions. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Have you really forgiven Adam Chandler, or are you actually up here testifying because of a guilty conscience? I have nothing to feel guilty about. Really? Well, I don't think having an affair with your uncle's wife is exactly nothing. Do you? 